guys, before we even get into this episode, I want to thank you guys very, very quickly for the back-to-back -back 50 likes. It's absolutely insane. I'm a bit sick right now, but I still am going to put this episode out for you guys because you guys have been absolutely amazing, and the only thing that I can do to repay you guys is to be absolutely amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Today, we're going to go for 60 likes. I'm upping the ante. If you could do that, that would be amazing, and I'll try and get another episode out for you guys very soon. As I said before, I'm sick, so I apologize if I do sound a little bit different, a um, bit sniffly and a bit snuffly, but... Nevertheless, let's get into today's episode, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, leave a like. Hey guys, Sam here, welcoming you back to the Bradford City Road to Glory crew mode. Today we kick off with a game against Ipswich Town in the Cup, and I didn't really give any thought to the Cup this season, you know, I'm not really sure if I wanted to do well in them or not, so I put out a pretty decent, strong side, you know, the only person I switched out was not, um, and maybe for fitness reasons, I should have switched out more people, but I didn't. I bought Jason Kennedy in because he's a He's a great backup central midfielder. I mean, he is such a quality player. Uh, if I played a midfield three, he would be the third midfielder, uh, most likely. Probably Gary Little as well, depending, depending on how defensive I'm playing. But what I want to make the point is that Kennedy is a great central midfielder. Ben Williams there makes an incredible save, throwing his body at the ball to make sure that we stay in this game. And Ipswich, they're no... They're no um, what are they? What, they're no spring breeze or whatever it's called. They're, you know, they're no walk in the park. Akpom there with a very light shot, but you know, going into halftime it was quite a boring game, nil nil. Unfortunately, we weren't able to break down the defense. You know, we did seem to struggle this game. You know, it wasn't as fluid as our other games. I think this was in between recording sessions, and sometimes I don't know if this guy this happens to you guys, but sometimes I sit down, I play really well in FIFA, and sometimes I sit down and I play terrible at FIFA. So. I don't know if that happens to you guys as well. Sometimes I'll sit down, I seem to have a fantastic day, you know, I'm playing much better balls and stuff like that, and I, I create chances. And sometimes it's just, I can't break defenses. And I think this was between recording sessions and last episode, we had an amazing episode. And this episode, we are struggling. So yeah, it is, it's without saying that maybe it was between recording sessions and I got affected but as you can see going into regulation time it was nil nil and in fact we do go into extra time which is not what we want at all because we need our fitness you know we have a league game in two or three days and most of the players that I played were starting players um, so this is not good for us at all uh, we're gonna have to put a makeshift side in our next league game here Ben Williams nearly makes a mistake a last-ditch effort from Derby and a last-ditch effort from Davies and a clearance from Jan Hyong Su some great defending from the back four I mean they they play really really well I'm enjoying the back four so far Jan Hyong Su has definitely just slotted in there very nicely but as you can see this is the highlights from the entire extra time and this was probably the best chance here. Clark runs through, and he's, he's done so well to get around Defender, and he just blasts it over the bar. I was very, very upset that that didn't go in. You know, he should have done a lot better. Ipswich had a, lot, a couple of chances. Again, Ben Williams throwing himself at the ball. Off the bar, he was watching the ball. I thought it was going to go in on the second chance, because you know how rebound chances are. Ben Williams just flails his arm up and makes an incredible save. And he really kept us in this game, this episode. Right at the death here, Ipswich, a last-ditch challenge, I believe, by Jason Kennedy, who just absolutely went in there and karate kicked it out of there. And we go to penalty kicks. And this could be the first first or second time that we've gone into penalties. It may be the first. I don't remember another time that we went into penalties. You guys will have to let me know if you do remember. Um, but I'm usually pretty good at penalty kicks. See, I remember having another penalty shootout because I was telling you guys that I'm actually quite good at penalty kicks because what I tend to do is to just go right with kicking and with saving. And eventually the computer's gonna have to go right when they shoot. Uh, all I have to do is make sure that I score. Um, and that's pretty much the key. Now, the only time that this can screw up is if I miss the um, the green, the composure bar, I guess it's called, or if I don't put it in the sweet spot. That is the sweet spot where Gallagher put it. The computer will never save those right above, right below, sorry, the crossbar. Uh, so if they just keep going right, eventually I'm going to have to save it. And Ben Williams, of course, every single time he's going to go right. Um, and as I said, as long as I get in the composure bar, when I get into the yellow, it is very, very difficult to aim it at that specific spot because you have a larger circle and it could go anywhere. So I tend to just not try and aim it. I just pick a side. Uh, here, Ipswich missed their penalty and we go one penalty up. We have the advantage. Tom Lawrence, as you can see, the composure is not there. I did actually panic a little bit and I just put it down the middle because uh, I didn't want to blast it over the bar or anything like that. The keeper stays in the middle. Ben Williams, a bit of... Oh, what a save that is. A bit of torturing. Well, a bit of... um, What is it called? Taunting. A bit of taunting. And then goes the right way anyway. 
absolutely brilliant work from Ben Williams, and he kept the advantage for us. And look at him, he just doesn't care in the net there. Oh, there, I thought I saved it, but I, unfortunately I did not. But it all falls down to Jason Kennedy's shoulders, and he gets it kind of in the green, smashes it up to the right, and we win through penalties. Of course, nothing too much to celebrate very early on in the cup, but it is good to see that we progress through this cup because, you know, I do want to get somewhat far in the cup. I don't expect to win the cup, but it would be it would be nice to give the fans a bit of a, a run and hopefully we'll play some high quality teams and really match up our team against some of them. Um, as you can see, Ben Williams, 8.2 rating. I have no arguments with that. He made, I think, like 10 saves or something. I'm not, I don't know if it's this game or another game. I'm, I'm forgetting, but Ben Williams is going to put a, an absolute shift in. Yeah, it was 10 saves in that game, of course. Uh, against Ipswich and I don't even remember him having to make 10 saves, but he did so I'm not gonna argue But we have a game against Wigan Athletic again We've been talking about these sides that are, are very used to the Premier League Wigan Athletic another one uh, Who have been in the Premier League a lot been in the championship a lot, you know Maybe nowadays they're struggling a bit more in real life, but in FIFA they still have quite a decent side, especially to a newly League One promoted side like ourselves who have about mid 60 ratings um, you know, they can pretty much match us in every single area. And Ali Al Hapsi is an incredible keeper. That's a great save from Ali Al Hapsi. Remember a few seasons ago when he was like the goalkeeper of the year for Wigan, uh, when um, Martinez was involved and, and uh, they escaped relegation and he was like the goalkeeper of the season. Uh, and now Wigan Athletic are absolutely dead. Like, I don't even know if they're in the championship anymore. I almost want to say that they nearly got relegated from the championship. I'm not sure. I know Fulham didn't do very well in the championship uh, last season in real life. Uh, so, who knows. These these Premier League sides that get, um, that, that get relegated, either they come back the next season... Um, or the next two seasons, or they don't come back for five. So it is a bit of a like a wild card whether or not you're going to see a Premier League side come back after they've been relegated. So it'll be interesting to see in real life what happens. And it'll also be interesting to see in this one what happens. I, don't, I know West Brom off the top of my head is one of those sides. Ali Al Habsi, again, a beautiful save. Um, yeah, I remember West Brom is one of the sides. I forgot which other sides we said were relegated in the actual career mode. Um, but we can put up a good fight, as you can see, still nil-nil. This goes back to me sitting down and not being able to convert chances. I think this is just one of those sessions where nothing was going right. Little, and he proves me wrong. <laughs> that is probably one of my favourite uh, goals, because that, of how much he had to work for that goal. And as I was saying, just as I was saying we couldn't convert any chances, Gary Little is like, what are you talking about, son? I'll convert a chance for you. Gary Little, obviously not our starting central midfielder. He's a very defensive midfielder. Great offensive pressure. Uh, he, there was one tackle before that slide tackle as well. Slots it past Ali Al Habsi. You can't get down quick enough. And Gary Little, of all people, scores a solo goal uh, by tackling a couple of players. Winning the ball back. Not saying no. Um, and smashes it past the keeper. And I believe Billy Clark during that... or No, Lloyd Isgrove, I think, during that play got injured. It was either Clark or Isgrove. It was a blonde player. Uh, and I don't remember who it was. But one of them did did get injured, so that might be a bit of a concern here. Wigan, in the dying minutes, pass it through Jan yong Su with a great deflection. He has been, and look at that, headering it out as well. He has been an extremely good centre-back. I'm very happy with that signing. Um, you know, when you sign a free agent, you never know what you're going to get, but I'm very happy so far with what he's done early stages of the Premier League. Halliday there, our left-back, what an assist that is. He did a roulette for crying out loud. He's a left-back, did a roulette, played it to Billy Noh, who smashes it past the keeper. And that is, uh, again, another good goal. So, in the end, we did score two. I mean, that's a bit scrappy, the actual finish. But the, uh, the setup and the assist for that goal um, is pretty good. So, <laughs> I mean, to get a roulette like that through the defense. I mean, Halliday as well, for, with our left back. Um, and he's probably, but he's becoming one of my favorite players as well, Halliday, uh, on that left-hand side. He's very young, and he's growing in overalls. I'll do a squad report for you guys very soon to show you guys. Um, but he has, he's growing quite well. So, when it comes down to it, our two central midfielders score. Uh, and this is like the first time where the strikers haven't really dominated the game. Derby picks himself up a vote. Um, and Gallagher, unfortunately, is not playing well these last couple games. And he's giving votes to other people. So, Ben Williams and Derby now... Each have a vote going into our third game of the episode. Uh, and so far, I felt that we had played okay. I, you know, I wasn't overly um, overly impressed with anything. And then we played Preston North End. And correct me if I'm wrong, but Preston North End are the, are the other team that got promoted with us. I could be wrong. I could be mixing them up with another team. But I believe Preston North End were the team that was pushing us right at the end of last season 
in the Football League 1, and we beat them by something like 4 or 5 points, but it was us and them who clearly dominated the League 1 and clearly got our automatic promotion. So it'll be interesting to see what has changed now in the Championship. We've obviously got into a, a, a flying start, um, and we have to see how Preston's doing, uh, obviously, because it's good to compare um, the, 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 the improvements that you've made. And one, one person that played today was Motley Henry on the right-hand side. He's, he's a Bradford player. Uh, he's a young Bradford player, but he's got a bit of pace about him. And um, he's, he seems like a tidy player. So I decided to play him. And the reason I did was because Isgrove was that blonde player that got, got injured. I just got my mind refreshed. Now, it was actually Isgrove who got injured. I forgot how long the injury's for. I don't think it was too serious, but Motley Henry jumped in for this game. Uh, and hopefully... He'll perform well. Of course, Preston played well. He, already the 90th minute here. A deflected goal, but it's offside. As soon as that went in, I thought it came off our player. Uh, it seemed to have come off our player, but when you look watching it in real time, but it did come off the Preston player, who was a touch offside. Um, literally just a touch offside. And, you know, I was very happy with that. Um, I honestly thought it was a 90th minute goal. And we actually get a nil-nil draw with Preston, so not our greatest episode, a win on penalties, a 2-0 win, and then a 0-0 draw, I mean, when you think about it, it's three clean sheets, if you're looking at it from a Ben Williams uh, point of view, that is three clean sheets on the bounce, and that's absolutely incredible, because we all were thinking, you know, Ben Williams, is he going to be a decent enough goalkeeper, so far, he has been incredible, and as you can see, seven shots, one on target to two, uh, with two on target, so Preston were more the attacking team, but they weren't able to put any of their shots on target, unfortunately for them, uh, and that's our third game for the episode, Ben Williams was our high, highest rated player, but the man of the match vote did not go to one of our players, I think it may have been Jermaine Beckford from Preston. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember, but he's the player that comes off my mind has played very well. Motley Henry got a 6.4. He wasn't our worst player by any means. Billy not got a 4. I think he was subbed on. Uh, and I forgot to show the league table, but now I'm going to show it. As you can see, we're in third spot behind our hated rivals, Leeds United. Um unfortunately. And as you can see, the next game is at home against Burnley. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. Here are the MVP runnings, of course. We got a few different votes today. Ben Williams now jumps up within two of Gallagher with these two votes. And also we have Derby there sitting with one vote. If you guys could smash 60 likes, as I said at the top of the episode, please do so. If you've watched this episode and you haven't, and you did enjoy it, and you haven't pressed the like button, make sure you hit that like button down below, and of course subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it real.